Hi everybody, my name is Angel Valverde, I'm from Spain, I'm a musician, composer, producer, and I also offer services for uh, programming for main stage, for sound design, and playback rigs for theater, for uh, multimedia, for artists, for whatever situation. Today I want to show you a solution I've developed for using main stage along with logic whether on the same computer uh, and they can be working side by side like on this situation I have here where I have both them on a split screen but I can have them also on separate screens if you're using an external monitor. The thing I achieved here is to control logic from main stage which means that I can have main stage as the only screen I see while I'm, while I'm performing and I don't need to see logic anymore. So the reason for uh, seeing logic on my right side is just for this demonstration. Okay, so here is a show uh, where I've been working recently, uh, where I have my main stage file and my logic session, which is made of stems, audio stems. I've reduced my individual documents to some basic things like sequences, uh, background vocals, click, and sound effects, and also those special tracks that I'll show you later. Okay, the very important thing is that all tracks are uh, specified here by its locator. This is very important. Wherever I put a locator, that will be the place where my main stage will point whenever I hit my play key. So there is nothing special on it. I can add an extra locator. I can move this locator up and down. My playback uh, position will always look for the placement of the locator. Okay, let's go back to main stage. In this situation, oh, by the way, let me show you a picture of my live rig. This is my live rig for this particular situation where I have my laptop. It's a very humble one, let's say. It's an Intel 2015 um, uh, laptop, uh, very nice machine from that time and with an i7 Intel uh, uh, processor and it works very good and it's connected to an external monitor where I can see logic but I, this is just for rehearsals on the live situation, I do not see logic anymore since it might distract me but I can have it if it helps me locate some things. Okay, guess let's go back to the rig. This is my main stage rig. As you can see, I have my set, file, my set uh, folder and my patches where I can go wherever I want. Let's say I'm on the first song of the show. I hit my first patch and I can hit start. I will use a MIDI key on my keyboard. So wherever I play, it will go to main stage and main stage will tell logic where to start Un, do, un, do, tre. Y... I have another key for a stop so I can stop it again if I hit play again Un, do, un, do, tre. Y... As you can see, it goes back to the top. But in case I don't want to go to the top, I just did a, a momentary pause for whatever reason, I can continue. So I programmed another button, another key for me, which is continue, just in case I would need it. The nice thing about this is that, let's say I go to another song like let's say song number six, I just, I'm just on the right patch and I will hit the same play key on my keyboard. So there is no different key. Play is always the same, but this time it will go to the right song. Un, do, e. So you see, I don't have to worry anymore about which song I'm going to trigger because where, whenever I'm on the right patch, it will trigger the, the right locator I'm using here. 
Uh, one of the nice things is that what if I am not seeing logic here? Well, that's something that's completely optional. I've taken a little area here to just load one of the same tracks I have on my logic, but this time on a playback track from main stage. This playback track is really not sounding at all. It's just for visual reference. So whenever I hit play, I know that something is moving on my screen and I do believe that logic is working on the background. So whenever I hit play again, boom, do, e. As you can see, I've just loaded the click track so I can see my count off and my clicks, but I can load whatever I want. The good thing about this is that all tracks exported from Logic also contain the markers, which I can use for always knowing which mark, which position of the song I am and even having a count, a count off to know where I'm, how, how long it takes for the next marker. Another thing that I found very useful is that while I'm using playback tracks, why not tell Logic to trigger my patches back? So in this case, I will, let's say, go to another track like this one. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, let's, let's go back to the, to the first one again. So whenever I hit play, boom, do, boom, do, tre, e. you'll see how my patches are changing automatically. If you see these green items here, those specify a new patch change, which means advance. It's not really triggering a specific patch, just advancing to the next patch. For this to work, as I told before, um, I'm using a specific environment for logic which allows for MIDI messages coming from main stage to logic and then a specific channel from going back from logic to main stage. For now let's say it works pretty pretty good. I didn't force my logic to run a lot of plugins neither MIDI tracks nor uh, virtual instruments. I'm just running audio tracks but the good thing about this is that I can easily adjust my logic at any point. Let's say I want to automate my volume for any specific track. I can do it here. Let's say I want to cut or edit some uh, click, uh, some counting, whatever. I can do it. On my previous experiences uh, working with main stage along with QLab, Ableton Live, even Pro Tools, uh, even Digital Performer, it's possible to trigger play and stop, but having uh, some of the, the, the advantages of logic is like, one of the advantages is that I can program stop, automatic stop. So whenever we come to the end of a song like this one, one, two, three, and it will automatically stop at the end of the song. So it means that my logic document has all the sequences, all the songs for my rig. I don't have to care about opening and saving every project. And now all my songs will go automatically to every, every uh, locator in my document. Again. So again, this is playing the right locator. Okay, I hope this is interesting to you and hope to see you soon.